I want Windows to feel modern, personal and honestly kind of fun again. And if you're watching this, you probably feel the same way because right now it looks like something out of 2008. But it's not your fault, it's Microsoft's the fault. Let me show you how to fix it in 9 minutes. Now this is your desktop. You have all the important files on your desktop. You don't know exactly where are your important files. Maybe it's this one, maybe it's this one. And also your wallpaper is not in high definition. Now let me show you how to sort the files on your desktop and how to clean up the taskbar. Now to sort pretty much your desktop, it's one easy fix. Right click on it, then go here under the view and make sure that you uncheck this option, show desktop icons. Now you've pretty much done it. And you can see here that in some cases the wallpaper also goes. And now we can see clearly this beautiful wallpaper of Shrek. Now, where are your files? Your files are pretty much here inside your desktop folder, inside the file explorer. And here they are. And pretty much if you want to sort them by the purpose, I highly suggest that you create a folder named for example, documents and put your important documents right here. And then also, for example, another folder for pictures. Now we've pretty much done the hardest part. So to clean up your desktop, I think that right now it looks a whole lot better compared to before. And right now, let me show you how to fix this cluttered taskbar as well. You can pretty much right click on it and go here to the taskbar settings. And on top here, you will find all three options. So search, task view, and also widgets. So pretty much make sure that you turn them all off. And for the search bar here, you will click on this drop down and click on hide. And now I think we have already a whole lot cleaner taskbar. Now, if you, for example, want this start menu and the icons on the left of your screen, go to the taskbar behaviors and here, make sure that you put this to the left. Now, one bonus tip, if you are on the latest Windows release, if you want to have this kind of end task button here inside the taskbar, which I think is very handy to have, you guys can go here to the system and down below, you will find four developers options. Here, make sure that you enable end task option. And right now, when you right click on every single application you have open, you guys will see this end task button and you guys can pretty much end the application that way. Now, let me show you how to make your desktop and your taskbar a whole lot better. So first of all, make sure that you go to this website, winhawk.net. I will also put this link in the video description down below. Download the installer and install this application application on your computer. That way we will be able to customize our start menu, our taskbar. So let me just show you how it works. Now make sure that you have Windhawk up and running on your computer. And uh, here on the first page, you will pretty much see a ton of the modifications to install on your computer. Now, in my opinion, Windhawk is really cool, lightweight application for customizing windows. And here are two of the mods, which I highly recommend to install on your computer. First one is Windows 11 Start Menu Styler. Now, if I enable it right here, you guys will see how this Start Menu looks like. I think it's fantastic. And now to change its style, you guys will go here to the details. And of course, you guys can also disable this modification and also remove it. Now here you will go to the settings and under the theme, you guys will pick whatever theme you prefer. For example, you can go with Fluent 2 Inspired. This one also looks kind of nice. So let me show you how this one looks like. So we have here this pinned applications and and also all of the applications on the next page. However, I think that the best one looking is this one called Down Arrow. Click on Save Settings and here we have this really cool start menu. For the taskbar, you guys will also install this modification and you guys can clearly see how my taskbar actually looks like at the moment. Now to change its look, go to the settings the same as before and change the theme. For example, you guys can also enable dock-like theme and your taskbar will look like a dock. Now you guys can also pretty much change this to let's say translucent taskbar as well. And now we have this translucent theme going on for our taskbar. And down below, you guys can also find, for example, this one. This one also looks kind of nice. And this way you guys can basically customize your taskbar to your liking. But the theme which I think looks the best, it's called Squircle. These are two of the modifications you need to install for Windhawk. And now let me just briefly show you how many of the resources this application is actually using. So remember, we are using the taskbar modification as well as the start menu. And down below, if I find the Windhog right here, you guys can clearly see how much of the memory it's using. So 7.2 megabytes, which is not a lot for this modification. I think it's totally worth installing.
Now, remember Windows 11 has this horrible right-click context menu. And to fix that, we will install another third-party application, which is called Shell. So basically, I will also put this link in the video description down below. Here, go to the downloads and here, pretty much choose installer option. I will go with ARM64 and install this application on my computer. And now, let me show you how the right-click context menu looks like. So I think it's way slimmer. And here down below, we can also find terminal, file manage, go to, for example. And if I go here, for example, to the file explorer and right click, for example, on WinHawk setup file, you guys can also see how the right click context menu looks like right here. Now let's find a really cool wallpaper because the Shrek wallpaper isn't cutting it anymore. So here, what I highly recommend you guys is to go to unsplash.com. Now on this website, you guys will click on wallpapers and pretty much here you can find a ton of really cool wallpapers. Let's go for example with this one right here. Click on download free and save it to your computer. Now navigate to your file explorer and make sure that you set it as background. Make sure that you select it here first and then click on set as background. Now let's install one widget which will also change absolutely the game for this setup. So let's go here to web browser and make sure that you search for rain meter. Now make sure that you install the rain meter with the installer. And now once you have it installed, make sure that you unload every single skin on your desktop. And now let's install skin called Jack's core. I will also put this link in the video description down below. Just click on download button here, click on understood and click on close. And you guys should get this .bat file and you guys can click on it and click on OK here on this prompt. Now here on the first page of Jack score, click on library and here make sure that you navigate to modular clocks widget. Click on it and then here click on this green download arrow to install it. Now with this widget installed, make sure that you enable it on top left corner and here navigate to the general. Here we will pick our own style. I will go with this one right here, but you can go with any other one. And here I will go to the style options and here we will have to enable blur. Now to enable blur, go to image magic website by clicking on it here. And then here I will go with this version down below. You should get .exe file, so the installer. And I'll just follow the setup file instructions. Now, once you have it installed, you will have to restart Raymeter. So you can go here to the system tray, right click on the Rain meter and click on exit. And now you will navigate back to your start menu and here search for the rain meter. Now you should see this skin on your desktop. Here I will place it somewhere here. Right click on it and then click here configure in core. Now navigate here to the style options. Click on this version here. Click on already installed. And then down below, click here to regenerate blur. Now you should see this skin a bit blurry. So you guys can right click on it and make sure that you align it horizontally. So just like this. And I think you are pretty much done. We have here brand new start menu. We have brand new taskbar. And we also have brand new widget on our desktop as well as right click context menu, which I think is very, very useful. Now, if you enjoyed this video, make sure that you drop a like down below. Subscribe to the channel if you guys haven't already. And if you guys need a brand new wallpaper pack, I made a brand new wallpaper pack, which you guys can check out in the video description down below. Now for every tool mentioned in this video, I will leave a link for it in the video description down below as well. So with that said, have an amazing rest of your day and I will see you all around in the next video.